Yo, what is going on everybody? It is Tyler here and today I am bringing you my COD Champs Championship Bracket Pick'em Predictions as well as my fancy team for Breaking Point. And yeah, I would have done this a lot sooner, but I just wanted to wait and make sure that none of these teams pulled any crazy moves at the last second. Because you never know at this point. As I'll talk about one move that did happen pretty early on. Boston Breach decided to bring in Snoopy, man. It's kind of a wild move, I think. Dude's 18 years old. He is very freaking good, I think. Watched him a lot in Challengers this year, but... It's just wild that his first ever pro match in the CDL is going to be at COD Champs, man. It's a lot of pressure, and it's against Optics, so it's kind of a wild move. Boston just continue to just make these insane moves left and right. It's always something different, and I think Snoopy's the right move going forward, like, next year. But to bring him in last second at Champs is kind of wild, so. I mean, we'll see how it goes, see how they do, but I think it's a wild move. We'll see how it affects them going forward, but I think it would have made a lot more sense to just wait till next season to bring him in. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into these predictions. Winners round one starts Thursday, man, so just a couple of days away. We got the one seed versus the eight seed. Atlanta phase. I got them taking down Surge three to one. We'll give Surge a map. Uh, Toronto against Thieves, man. This is probably the best matchup of the first round here. And I went back and forth a lot on this. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give it to Toronto Ultra here. Toronto is going to go 3-2. It's going to be a great series. Toronto is going to take that dub and advance to play phase and winners round two. Get down to the bottom half of the bracket. Optic. I got them coming out strong after the terrible Major 5 performance. They will bounce back. I think they will come out looking strong. Of course, against Boston, I give them the upper hand, man. So, 3-1 Optic is going to advance. Then we got Subliners against Rocker. Rocker, another team that's made some questionable moves throughout the year. I do think the team they have now is solid, but I just wish that we would have seen it much sooner. But either way, man, uh, New York coming off a very nice stage five and then of course they go on the losers bracket run and win it all in major five they win two titles this year and i think they start off champs with a nice victory over rocker we're gonna have it going to map five though surprisingly we're gonna go map five in new york at the dub three to two to advance to play optic so let's drop to losers now Losers round one, we got Seattle against Thieves. I got the Thieves taking this one 3-1. to one. Should be a pretty easy win there for them. I don't think Seattle's got anything left in the tank, man. They were lucky to even make champs. Rough year for them, man. Going to be an insane uh, offseason for them with Pred most likely being on the move. See what else, uh, see what they're able to do to try to get a good team together for next year. But yeah, I think Thieves bounce them out here 3-1. to one. And then Boston against Rocker. Oh, man, this could be a really good matchup, I think. And I'm going to go ahead and give the edge to Rocker. Should be a good series. We'll go 3-2. to two. Rocker taking the victory. So that would be Seattle Surge and Boston out of the tournament at top eight. Move back up to winners round two. We got FaZe against Ultra. And I'm going to have FaZe take this victory. And we'll go 3-1 we'll go to one here. Uh yeah, uh, I don't know, man. This this could be a really good series. I'm going to go ahead and stick with 3-1 to one there, phase over Ultra. And here in the other half of the bracket, we've got Optic against New York. Now, which Optic shows up, man? I don't know. It'll be a really... We'll really be able to tell once this series gets going because... If we see Optic from Major 5, New York will come out and slam them. If we see Optic that we've seen in the previous stages before that, then this would be a really good series, I think. And you guys know I am an Optic fan, so maybe slightly biased, but I don't know. I just think Hydra's going to have to go crazy, man, which is very, very possible. But I'm going to go ahead and give the edge to Optic in a nice map 5 they clutch up in the search to advance to the winner's final to play phase. 
That could go either way though, man. Optic or New York, that's that's a tough one. But yeah, we'll go we'll go with Optic. Let me drop to losers round two. We got Thieves against Subliners. After a tough map five loss, they come back on Saturday and lose once again. Thieves continue the losers run and they get the three to one victory over New York. A shocker to some people. But I think Thieves is gonna show up, man, at champs. Tough, tough loss there. I gave him in round one to Ultra, but I think that could really go either way. This could work out in Thieves' favor, though, if they get on a nice little run here. And then next in Losers' Round 2, we got Ultra against Rocker, and then Toronto's going to come out and 3-0 slam them. Yeah, that's right. I'm not even going to give Rocker a map there. They probably will get one, but we're going to go Toronto 3-0. So why not? And then in Losers' Round 3, we got Thieves against Ultra. That's going to be another good series, man. I gave it to Ultra 3-2 to two in Winners Round 1, but this time Thieves is going to come back and get their revenge. And 3-2 Ultra clutching up in the map 5. Thieves this time advances to the Eliminations Final. And who will they meet? The loser of the Winners Final. Optic Phase. This series has went one way the whole season. Optic has dominated it. But FaZe has looked good all season long, especially more recently than Optic. So, never know, know which way this could go. But I'm going to have to go ahead and go with the Optic boys. Oh, well, I almost slipped up there. We'll go Optic 3-1. to one. We'll go 3-1. They're, they're not losing a hard point. FaZe probably take the surge or the control, one or the other. Depends what maps get in there, but Optic's winning both hard points to take the series. Then we move on to the elimination final. We got FaZe against LA Thieves. Thieves is hot, going on the loser's run. Can they take down FaZe after FaZe dropped down from the optic loss? And I'm going to say yes. LA Thieves shock a lot of people once again. And they get the victory 3-1 to one over Atlanta FaZe. For a grand final rematch for Major 4, Optic Texas vs. LA Thieves, COD Champs, best of nine. Oh man, this could be a really good one. What the stories they could write about it. Oh man, will Optic get the revenge? Of course, you know what I'm going to say. Yes, they do. We'll go 5-3. to three. Optic get the job done. Optic COD Champs. This probably won't happen, but hey, uh, this is like... A mixture of fandom and a mixture of like actual knowledge because I've watched every match there's been this season but at the same time I do have a little optic bias I just I want them to win man so I'm gonna go ahead and predict it to happen might as well there it is optic 5-3 over thieves thieves goes on the losers run as you see here after losing the ultra in round one they go on a little run they take down ultra and yeah, they take down FaZe. Go on to play Optic and Optic get the job done. Go through winners. Don't take any losses. And what a story that'd be, man. After the terrible ma uh, Major 5 performance and then they come back at champs and win it. Like I said, man, it, it probably won't happen, but this is how I want to run it. So we'll go ahead and go for that. Lock it in. Submit predictions. Oh, there it is. Let me know what you think down below. What do you think I'm going to get right? What do you think I'll get wrong? What team do you want to win it all? And which team do you think will win it all? Uh, now that I said, you know, this is locked in what I want to happen, what I think will happen, I think if Optic doesn't, you know, pull this off for me, I think Thieves or FaZe will get it done. Possibly Ultra, but I just think Thieves or FaZe, just depending on how they get there. It's going to be interesting, man. I'm really excited. Can't wait to watch it this upcoming weekend, man, starting Thursday. So, yeah, make sure you uh, get your bracket predictions locked in if you like to, uh, you know, compete in these. And then we'll move over to Breaking Point. So, for COD Champs, they upped the budget from $25 to $27. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, so for this, you know, you kind of want to pick, you know, at least two players on the same team that you think will go far. 
and you know because that matters the more matches you get the more chances they have to get kills and whatnot and the placings matter i'm sure as well for points so of course hydra's ten dollars after that last performance scrappy's up there as well and bz shotzi and simp all nine dollars selium dashi draza kismet octane pred all eight dollars that's a lot so i mean if you think seattle go on some cinderella run pred at eight dollars is a steal but i don't see it happening and you only get one entry so I'm not sure for my captain who I want. Because I'm going to go ahead and play an optic team, man. Might as well. Ghost is at 7. Where's Hook? Hook's at 6. Ah, this is tough. Pixie at 4 could be solid because I think Toronto could go far, but he usually don't get a whole lot of kills. Ah, oh, man, this is tough. Snoopy in there, 6 bucks in his debut. Priest at $6 is always solid, man. New York could go on a solid run again here. I'll take... Oh, no. I want Slasher, but not as my captain. I'm not picking Kleenex either, but... Where's Slasher? We'll get Slasher in there. Who's my captain, though? I feel like it's got to be Shotzi or Dashy. Go Dashy Masterclass for the dub. We get Shotzi in there as well. Oh, wait, I can't even do that. I only have $3 left. Shoot. Envoy at 7. Get his redemption. And then I have 5 bucks left. Let's go $4 Hixie. Because I don't think any of these other players will get far. Unless I take a rocker player. Oh man, this is tough. I might have to go down from one of these guys. Nah, I can't do that. I should just get Hook in there, you think? Screw it. We just got to hope Optic shows up. Dashy and Hook, we get them in there, $8 and $6. Then we get Slasher at $7 and Cami at $6. Hoping that, you know, when Rocker, you know, if they drop down here to losers and play uh, Breach in round one, they got to win that for me. For Cami's chance at having any decent amount of points. But, you know, we got to get creative with these. You get the budget. Even though they gave us extra $2 this time, it's tough, man. I mean, look at these prices. It is tough out here. But, yeah, uh, this will be my squad. Dashy, Slasher, Hook, and Cammy. Go ahead and submit my team. But, yeah, uh, that's going to be my fantasy squad for Breaking Point. Make sure you go sign up and make your team as well if you uh, are interested. There it is. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you think in the comments below of my fantasy team here. And then, of course, of my bracket predictions. Hope and Optic get the job done, man. It's going to be fun to watch. Make sure you go follow me on Twitter as well. I'll be, you know, reacting to it as we watch throughout the weekend. But yeah, hoping to see a lot of good matches. And hoping and Optic show up and get the job done. I also have, you know, some bets in on them. I bet on them, but I also threw a little bit on Thieves as well because I do think that somehow, some way, these two teams will end up meeting in the grand final. But, yeah, that's uh, going to do it for me. Go ahead and slap that like button. I'd appreciate it a lot. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. Have a nice day. Peace.